Hey guys, I'm Julie. I'm Wynn. And you are Chasing, Chasing the, the Cops. Cops. Still. <laughs> we are an RV family um, on an epic one year road trip, but we haven't left yet. Right. We had a uh, state sale today, and uh, my wife did a wonderful job getting rid of all, getting rid of, all of our stuff. And uh, our house is pretty empty. We're going to show you here in just a second. So this is our house. We live in Charleston, South Carolina. We have a really awesome, cool, two-story, all-brick, um, 2,000-square-foot house. Beautiful. Com complete with screaming kids inside. Yeah, so beware as we walk inside our house. So follow us. Come on. Here we go. I wonder if I can turn this video around. If you can edit it, you could. Oh, I can't edit yet. I can't turn the video around, so we're just going to walk in like this. <laughs> All right, walking in, this is our living room. We sold today our couches. We sold um, chairs. We sold rugs. We sold um, one of our entertainment centers. We sold our lamps. We literally just have one lamp left in the house to, to light up our little living room space. We've had so many interesting, fun, amazing people walk through our home today and barter with us and bargain. And we didn't cry. We gave away a lot of stuff. At the end, we literally were giving away stuff. Um, preparing for this estate sale, we have spent the last, I would say, maybe even two months. That might be a little bit of stretch. Definitely the last month, going through all of the stuff upstairs in our bedrooms, um, all throughout our house, asking our kids, do you want this toy? Do you not want this toy? Do you want to give it away to someone? Do you want to take it in the RV with us? And as we've been packing, literally this is the hardest thing in the world I've ever done. We have been packing boxes for the year 2020, which is when we think we're going to come off the road and maybe settle down somewhere else. Um, not sure where. Very open-handed to that. We've also been packing a 2019, we need it next year, in the RV. And then we've been packing um, yard sale or estate sale stuff. All those things that we want to give away that we just don't need anymore. Not next year, not in two years from now, not ever. Mm -hmm. And then a trash pile, which is, no, pile. nobody wants any of it. We don't even think we should sell it. Like, we're just throwing it away. Something we should have done years ago, even if we weren't going anywhere, just get rid of our stuff. Scale it down a little bit. So, moving is always a big deal. It stirs up a lot of emotions. And for me, I'll let my wife speak for it in just a minute, but uh, for me, it's a little bit um, anxious, I guess. Um, very excited, though, about what, uh, what we're getting ready to do. Very excited about uh, moving. But, um, yeah, just you're leaving your home. You're getting rid of all your, all your comforts, getting rid of everything that, um, that you call home and trying to make a new home. So it's very different. It's a new experience. We sold all of our bedroom sets upstairs. So currently, right now, we are sleeping on an air mattress. That is um, not very good. No, it's a, it's a really bad air mattress. Really <laughs> no. have to pump it up Actually, we might be on sleeping bed. Our kids oh, my word. are screaming. Our kids are all in sleeping bags. We combine the baby with the big kids, and we put them all in one room upstairs. And so we'll show you that in just a minute. But guys, pray for us. It is literally the beginning of April. We are 12 days from this thing happening. Um, we'll move out. We'll sell our house. We'll purchase the RV. Um, there will be just a little bit of an overlay from the moment we sell the house where we're staying with some friends before we purchase our new home. So you call that homeless or you just call that God's provision that we have another place to go for a few minutes with suitcases. Um, we'll let you see the kids again as we continue to walk through the house. Uh, we're moving into our dining room. Our dining room table, we have gone back and forth over. We said we're not selling it. We love our dining room table. It's an eight-seater. It fits all of our family, all friends from church, all friends that we like, have over to hang out on the weekends. Um, then we said, bump it. We are selling it, uh, but it didn't sell. So now maybe the Lord's saying that we get to keep it. So um, we have a really spacious downstairs, but it is not an open concept. Uh, we actually love the, all the formal rooms, moving in straight into our kitchen. We poured a lot of work into our home over the last couple of years. We have updated paint and floors and... Oh okay, so we decided to make a video. Here we go. <laughs> And all what we right. did is um, we're baking a cake right now. We allowed all three of our kids to sit down with a large bowl of chocolate. Yeah, we Which did that. Chocolate. So they, they are all covered in chocolate. Even the I, love, I just want to 
wash my hands. <laughs> that is the sacrifice we were willing to pay show to He's all cold. Yeah, show you guys. Um, this is just pure sweetness. That is just chocolate sugar right there. There's nothing better. Um, so uh, moving out of our kitchen, are we showing them the whole house or just, okay, you know, we're, we're not going to show you the whole house. That's boring. Um, we just kind of want to talk to you really quickly about our personal thoughts on moving and when shared that. If you're thinking about selling everything to buy an RV, I think you really want to figure out, are you RVing full time? I think we decided pretty quickly we're not doing that. Um, not unless the Lord changes our hearts while we're on the road. We are on this, what we are calling, epic one-year road trip. Yeah, roughly one year. We're not going to be doing it much longer than that. Yeah, maybe 12 to 15 months. And then we're going to um, keep a very open hand and pray about where the Lord is telling us to get jobs and settle down and, and purchase a new house. We would like to purchase another house. Uh, we just need this year to travel. Real quick, catch up on the RV situation. So we've had one that we looked at, it's sold already, and then we have another one we're going to uh, this next weekend to look at. Um, there's one we actually put a bid on, yes. and it's above our, uh, it's, uh, it's over our heads financially. Yes. However, we're trying to talk them down. We'll see how that goes. But um, So that's kind of where we are. We're going to see one this weekend, and we got to drive up to um, near Anderson, South Carolina, to go look at it. So we'll be uh, doing that this weekend. So stay tuned. It is possible. It's really possible um, to sell all your stuff, to let it all go. We are training our children to be minimalist. We are training ourselves to be minimalist. We've cut half of our wardrobes. We plan to cut another half of our wardrobes. We're giving a lot away. Um, we're sending stuff to Goodwill and Salvation Army. and um, We've given away pots, pans, um, even desks, dressers, you name it. And and diapers. That's disgusting. So, um, we're going to wrap it up. Next video, we'll be coming in, talking to you a little bit about um, hopefully closing and selling a house and the new adventures of the RV purchase. Goodness, that baby's disgusting. Yeah. What are we calling this video? Get rid of your crap. Hey. Oh. Ooh. All right, we're going to title this video, Our Okay, bye. Thanks, everybody. Can I